Excellent that you're joining us here because we're starting now to talk about simplifying expressions, yeah? A really important part, a crucial part of algebra. And before we start, it's important to think about yeah, what does that word mean? And simplifying, what, what comes into your mind when you're looking at the word to simplify? Uh, can you think about that? What, 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 what does that mean to you, simplifying? And perhaps uh, some of you say now, um, I don't know, making it easier, making uh, it easier. Okay, uh, could be, maybe you have a different word, maybe you want to share that in the comments of this video. Simplify, uh, maybe uh, shorter, making it shorter. Yeah, so there are all sorts of uh, words, if you like, associated with to simplify. Yeah? So please share uh, your version of it in the comments of this video. But indeed, with algebra, also when we're simplifying expressions, we are trying yeah, to make it easier or to shorten it. And there is a crucial word um, involved uh, with simplifying, which is combining, or actually, uh, it's a phrase, it's not a word, it's combining, combining the like, the like terms. Okay, and like has got nothing to do with Facebook, by the way, um, but I will explain to you in a minute what that means, okay? Combining the like terms. Okay, so we are going to simplify some expressions now. So, for instance, yeah, if I go to a market and uh, I'll use my red pen and I have um, three apples, okay, one, two, three apples, and then I go to a different market and I get two more apples, okay? So, how many apples do I have in total if I would add them up? I would have, and everybody agrees, I would have five apples, okay? Now, if I would rewrite this in algebra, I could say, so uh, 3a uh, plus 2a equals 5a. And why can I add them? Because these are like terms. And these are like terms because their letters, the variables, are the same. So I can do 3a plus 2a. Now in a different situation, uh, let's say next week, I am uh, getting uh, an apple and I'm going to a different market and I'm getting two bananas and then I'm getting three more apples. Oh, there we go. So how much fruit do I now have in my basket? Well, I would have uh, three, four apples and I would have two bananas. Those are horrible looking bananas. I'm very sorry, I'm not the best artist, yeah? But you agree with me, I will have four apples and two bananas. And in algebra, that would look like Okay, so an apple, huh? one apple, plus two bananas, plus three apples. And if I would then have to simplify that expression, which means combining the like terms, then I would say, okay, so I have an A here, huh? a term of an A, and another term of an A here, and please be careful, the sign is part of the term directly after it, huh? so it's A, plus 3a, and those are a, yeah, 1a plus 3a, those are yeah, 4a. And then I have a term in the middle left, which is a 2b, so I'll just put that there, plus 2b, okay? So this is simplifying expressions, making it easier, making it shorter, if you like, combining the like terms, where like terms are those terms in an expression with the same Variable, eh? remember the important language. Okay, so we don't really like apples and bananas, yeah? we're too old for that. So let's have a look at these four example expressions and then we are finished for this video. So 4a plus 7a, if you like four apples plus seven apples. So I combine the like terms, 4a plus 7a, that is 11a. Okay, 5a plus 6b, if I would have to simplify that expression, what is the answer? Are there any like terms? No, they're not. So the answer is 5a plus 6b, okay? Do not get confused. They're not like terms. I can't add apples with bananas. All right, 4x plus 3y plus x. Now I see some like terms again. I have a 4x and I have plus x. And what is x? X is 1x, eh? So if you don't see the coefficient, it's always a one. Four X boxes, if you like, plus one X box. Um, those are five X boxes, five X. And then I have 
plus 3y. Look at that. I simplified the expression over there. Yeah, I made it shorter. Okay, the final one. I have an expression with four terms. Yeah? One, two, three, four. And two different uh, variables, x and y. Let's uh, simplify it. Okay, but now really look at me. Yeah, because there are some mistakes which students make. 12x plus 3x because the sign belongs to this term. So it's not 12x minus 3x, no. You have the term 12x, you have the term positive 3x. And 12x plus 3x is 15x, yeah? Then we go to the y's, let me use a different color for that. I have a negative y, so minus 1y, if you like, you put the one there, minus 1y, plus 2y, and that is minus 1y plus 2y, that is 1y, so y, a positive y, that is, okay? So please make sure that you, um, that you assign the sign to the term which is directly next to it, yeah? So it's 12x plus 3x, not 12x minus 3x, okay? Hopefully that was useful. Like and share this video if it was. Find me on my website, explainingmaths.com, for more free resources and an opportunity to ask me your question, okay? This is an entire playlist about algebra. We are going to continue now with more example questions in the next video. I'll see you there.